Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this new tutorial for hipstercode.com and we're going to be learning how to program in Rust. For any other tutorials that you're interested in, just check out uh, Hipster Code. First things first though, we need to go ahead and install Rust on our machine. And whenever you're dealing with a new programming language, you need to figure out whether or not it even works on your operating system. But good thing with Rust though is it actually does work with Windows and Linux. Um, with Windows, let's go ahead and just use a Google search and we'll say Rust download. And hopefully Google will know what, what we're talking about here. All right, and it's going to be this uh, downloads the Rust programming language. And just pick the MSI installer for your operating system. So we're just going to go with the GNU ABI version. And I have a 64-bit machine, so I'll select that. And while this installs, I'm going to go ahead and just pause the video. All right, so I'm just going to click install. All right, so now this is finally finished. All right, so after this installs, Rush should actually be added to your command line. So if I go to the command prompt and I say uh, command prompt admin and windows. Let me change this font here so it's bigger. Alright, so hopefully you guys can see that a little bit better, but I should be able to type Rust C and it should pull up information about Rust. So that way uh, it's added to your environment variables. If it's not added to your environment variables and you're running that and Rust can't be found, you need to look at how to add Rust to your environment variable. Um, and I actually have a, I have a video on that. If you just type Chris Hawks environment variables, this first one that pops up here, that it's just a two minute video, but it, that shows you how to add it to your, your path. And that actually trips people up sometimes. All right, the next thing you guys do, need to do whenever you're writing code is you need to have an editor to write your code into. I recommend Atom because it's just less hassle to deal with this. It's just a simple text editor, so it's not going to do as much as like a Visual Studio, but it's also less headache in trying to figure out how it, everything works. I mean, you just write your code into it, you save files, and that's essentially it. So just download this installer for Windows if you don't have that already. It's completely free. It's open source, and um, just it's going to be good. Once you have it, installed open it up and you should have a blank screen like this if you press control shift p it's going to open up your package manager and just type rust inside here actually that didn't work at all you know what? instead go to packages um go to go to uh settings view and say manage packages and then on the left hand side over here go to install and then inside here, what we want to do is type Rust. And it's actually searching across the internet for uh, Rust matches. And we're going to use this Rust language support in Atom. It has 52,000 downloads compared to the 3,000 for this project listed above it. So I'm just going to go with the more trusted, more downloaded version. Now what this is going to do is actually allow syntax highlighting. So if you, um, as you start write, writing Rust code, like the colors will change depending on variable names and stuff like that. So it's not going to be a ton of support. Shouldn't be a ton of overhead either for Atom. Now that we've done, we're done with that. We can just X out the settings file. Let's go ahead and make a directory where our project is going to sit. So I'm going to open up my file explorer in Windows. I'm going to put all the, the code related to this tutorial series inside my projects folder. And then inside my projects folder, I have a hipster code folder. And we're going to create a new directory in here that we're going to call uh, Rust. Okay. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and open that folder 
by saying open folder and add them. And I know that unfortunately some of the font on the menu and everything's hard to see. There's really not much I can do about that with Adam. Um, at least not that I'm aware of anyway. So let's go to the new projects directory where we just created the Rust folder inside hipster code. And I'm just gonna say select folder. And now all the files associated with this project within Adam are gonna be on the left hand side. And all you see is just one folder that says Rust, the folder we created and there's nothing in it. So we need to go ahead and add our first file. And we're gonna call this um, The file name we'll call hipstercode.rs. Now anytime you're writing a Rust file, the type of code goes into files with an extension of .rs. So like CSS is .css, Python is .py, Rust is .rs. So let's go ahead and create this new file that we're gonna call hipstercode.rs. And now we're just gonna simply create a uh, small function which is our function main the start of the program and then we'll say print line hello hipster code now if you notice that there's some different syntax highlighting going on and that's because of the plugin that we've installed so this is just a, although you can see it's got some jacked upness going on though in fact instead of single quotes this should be double quotes my bad there, our syntax isn't all screwed up now. All right, so now that we have this hipster code RS file, let's go to a command prompt. The same command prompt we were at before. And I need to cd into the directory. So projects, hipster code, rust. And now I need to go ahead and compile that file. So I'm gonna say rust C and then just the name of the file that needs to be compiled. So hipstercode.rs. Now just to let you know how Rust works, Rust is a compiled language, so it is gonna create an executable file from your Rust code. And it, it, just, it just works, it's gonna be fast. So uh, the compilation time is gonna be a little bit slower, it feels like, compared to something like Python. But it's not a dynamically interpreted language, it is a compiled language. So once you have the executable, it's actually extremely fast. So you can have a ton of code and then Rust compiles it into this perfect executable and then you can run the executable anywhere on your Windows machine and it's going to be lightning fast. So you know, don't think just because of the compilation time that it's slow. It's really not. So now what just happened? We need to go ahead and look. And if we look, we can see in our editor and also in the directory, if we uh, do a dir command to, to view everything in the directory, you can see that we now have the hipstercode.exe file, which is a Windows executable file. So if I just ran uh, hipstercode, you can see that it prints out hello hipstercode. So we actually created our first program in Rust. We compiled it into an executable, and then we ran the executable just like we do with any other executable file in the Windows environment. All right, guys, so that's where we're going to leave off the first video of this Learning Rust tutorial series. And if you guys like the content, please subscribe. It actually it helps me out. Um, anytime somebody subscribes, it also lets me know that I'm not doing this stuff in vain. Um, and also, if you would uh, vote it up, I appreciate that. If you, guys, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the description. I'll try to get back to you. And I do appreciate all the support. Have a good day. Bye.